Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekabookidsfeedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. <coughs> oh, 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 hello friends. <coughs> Hope you're doing good today. <coughs> but unfortunately, I'm not. As you can see, <coughs> or, or hear, I am constantly coughing. <coughs> Wait a minute, that's an excellent topic to explore, isn't it friends? So, in today's episode, let us find out reasons behind coughing and answer an all-important question. Why do we cough? Zoom in! Coughing, something we all do now and then, is one of the most common symptoms of a childhood illness that occurs due to viruses and often comes on as the last symptom of a retreating cold or viral flu. Other reasons that could trigger coughing are smoke or dust in the surroundings and allergies. Though it could be annoying at times, but it isn't generally harmful and is a very helpful process. Yes, my friends, coughing is a healthy and vital reflex that protects our body by getting rid of germy mucus and foreign particles such as dust, microbes, allergens and bacteria and attempts to clear the throat by forcing air out of the lungs under high pressure. But the vital question is, what is happening inside our bodies while we cough? You see, when someone inhales a foreign particle or irritants that enter the trachea or the windpipe, it can interrupt our breathing. In that case, our brain gets alert and activates the cough reflex. Then the vocal cords open up wider than usual, which increases the volume of air being drawn into the lungs. After that, the epiglottis closes over the windpipe, effectively shutting off the flow of air. Then the rib muscles and the abdominal muscles contract, putting pressure on the lungs. And as the epiglottis is closed, the air can't move out and resulting in increased pressure. Eventually, the epiglottis opens, causing the air to burst out with a tremendous force along with the foreign particle in a fraction of a second. Finally, the breathing is restored to normal levels and all the irritants are expelled. The coughing reflex will stop. So, here we go friends. Next time you find yourself on a coughing spree, instead of getting mad about it, just thank your coughing reflex for protecting you from harmful particles. But remember my friends, most lingering coughs are normal and harmless. But if you can't figure out the causes on your own, or if your cough isn't getting better after a week or so, do talk to your parents or guardians about it and visit your doctor ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know a cough can travel as fast as 50 miles per hour? and expel almost 3,000 droplets of saliva in just one go? Now, that's some speed! Also, the sound of a cough is caused by the fast-moving air rushing past the vocal cords. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <coughs> oh, no. Oh, never mind. <coughs> hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs>
See you.